Good morning, everyone. Hopefully these storms didn't wake you up this morning, but that might be the case. I'm Gina Buller. Yeah, it was loud in the studio this morning. I'm Kelly Taylor in for Joe. Today's a Storm Track 5 alert day as heavy storms move through the metro. Yes, we have team coverage for you this morning. Storm Track 5 meteorologist Aaron Little is tracking the latest with these storms. Where are they now, Aaron? Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think the bigger question, where do we not have thunderstorms right now? And that's for areas right along 50 Highway here, extending from Warrensburg through Sedalia. We have this little area where the storms have not uh, moved in. You already had storms earlier this morning, but it's quieter right now for the moment. But then we will see uh, this next wave moving in here over the next half hour to hour or so. Live power Doppler showing you we have widespread soaking heavy to moderate rain. We have thunderstorms storms here in Kansas City. This leading edge that's moving through areas on the Missouri side from Clinton through Garden City, extending closer to areas just south of Sedalia. We can kind of slice through this thunderstorm that's moving through the southwestern portion of our viewing area just to see the intensity um, with some of this moisture. And we do have uh, certainly enough lift here and enough moisture at the height of this thunderstorm, uh, giving us some brief wind gusts south and east of Kansas. Kansas City. Now for the immediate metro, certainly noisy and the heavy rain continues with weather team coverage for you this morning. Savannah Rudisell live this morning. Uh, you've been kind of all around town. You were in Overland Park and Olathe earlier this morning. Where are you at mm -hmm. now, Savannah? Yes. And how are things? I'm imagining yeah. wet. <laughs> <laughs> you are 100% spot on there, Aaron. It is very wet. Yeah, we're right along 435 and state line here. Uh, and yeah, we were a little bit further south before and it just it hasn't let up in, in any place that we've been. It's just still coming down in sheets of rain right now. I want to give you a look here just over our shoulder is this is kind of what drivers are facing here this morning. These roads are still pretty wet and any kind of along any hilly areas, you're going to find some low areas. There's going to be a lot of pooling, a lot of puddles on the road. Again, as we were driving around here this morning, our windshield wipers were working overtime. Erin also got it right on the nose when she said it's loud. It's noisy out here with these storms. Of course, we've got those heavy rains coming down, uh, causing a lot of noise as long as, as well as those winds and some big rumbles of thunder, not just about 30 seconds before we are on air. There are some huge, huge flashes of lightning. Not sure if you're going to be able to see it here while we're on the air. That's always a struggle to be able to show it to you right when it hits, of course. But all morning long, I can tell you, we've just been watching the sky lighting up. So uh, while you're driving into work today, make sure that you are giving yourself a little bit of extra space. Don't get too distracted by the beautiful lightning here going on around it. Make sure that uh, you keep your eyes on the road as they will be pretty wet here. For a little bit of a wider look around traffic around the metro, we've got Bill Hurlbrink in the studio tracking all that traffic for you. Hey, Bill. All right, thank you very much, Savannah. We're going to start live with the uh, pick from our mobile storm tracker. They're live 635 through Wyandotte County. It looks to me that they are between Metropolitan and Shawnee Drive. That's going to be my uh, my guess there. And you can see a little bit of spray kicking up on the highway there from the cars in front of you. So again, definitely a windshield wiper and a headlights morning as we get going this morning. Good news, not seeing any huge problem spots out there. A couple of stalled cars now showing up here and there, like this guy hanging out on the left shoulder or northbound I-35 Front Street. That's just before you cross over the Bond Bridge. And again, that's in the northbound run, so the outbound run. Most traffic is heading inbound this time. I'm going to give you a round robin to some of the scout cameras around town. This is in that construction zone, 435 at the Missouri River Bridge. You can see that southbound lanes, that diverted lane where it's split there, a little bit slow through that construction zone. We'll stay on the Missouri side and go down to our friends in the peculiar area where this camera appears now frozen, but northbound I-49 is a little bit slow past J Highway headed up towards uh, the Belton Raymore area and order of friends over on the west side of the 435 loop. Traffic looks like it's moving pretty good there and inbound from uh, the Kansas Speedway towards the downtown loop. Uh, looks pretty good and right on time. Gina.